you have some leftovers in your fridge and you don't know what to do with them, such as like maybe some leftover broccoli, zucchini, any kind of vegetable, well today I've got the answer for you. We're gonna be making a frittata. A frittata is an Italian dish very similar to a quiche without crust or maybe an omelet. This is where we toss in a lot of different ingredients and we cook it up and it's savory and it's delicious and you're gonna love it. In our frittata today, I'm gonna to be putting in some broccoli that's already been cooked. We're gonna add some onions and mushrooms, some basil. I like basil for some herbs, but you can use whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna be using some prosciutto. You could use bacon or ham or whatever you have or, or none at all. That's up to you. But that's what I love about this dish. It's just so versatile and just whatever you wanna put in it, it works. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, I like to start off with chef joke number one, and that means number two will be a little bit later. So stay tuned for that. So here we go. What do you call a city of a million eggs? New York City. Okay, so let's go over ingredients. Let me show you what I'm putting in this and you know talk to you about some substitutions and it's pretty much anything goes though. Okay, so I mentioned some broccoli. I've got some broccoli here that I already cooked up yesterday and it's leftovers. You could use any uh, vegetable you want. It could be asparagus, uh, broccoli, anything. I got some spinach that I have left over here. Then I have some onions that I've already had chopped up in my fridge. Basil, this is out of my garden. Love that. You could use parsley. Uh, pretty much any, you know, dill, anything you like. I've got a few mushrooms here that I'm going to chop up that I have. Here's my prosciutto. You could use bacon and ham or any of those if you want or leave it all out. And of course I have a, a few eggs and some Parmesan cheese. I almost forgot. we got to have some of that. You can use any cheese you want. It can be soft cheese, Monterey Jack, cheddar. It does not matter. Feel free to use anything. And of course, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna be cooking this in a cast iron pan, or maybe I didn't say that already, um, but that's what I'm using. I have a nice, well-seasoned pan here. And uh, if you don't have one of those, you could also use um, a non-stick pan would work just as well. But just keep in mind that this is going in the oven under the broiler for a few minutes. So you wanna make sure your pan can handle that. So I'm gonna start off with my mushrooms here. We're gonna just simply slice these up. I've already wiped them off so that they're nice and clean. Now you can cut your mushrooms as small as you like. I like mine pretty small. So I'll just place those in my bowl here. So next I'm just gonna slice up my prosciutto. You don't need very much of this, just a slice, couple slices, depending on how big your, your frittata is. I'm using a six inch pan today, so it's pretty small. And this will be plenty. And then it just makes it easier if you just roll it up and then just slice it. We want, you know, little pieces and then I cut it the other direction. And now we're gonna head over to the stove and start cooking our onions and mushrooms and prosciutto. All right, so I have my, this is like about a six inch uh, little cast iron pan. You can make a bigger one if you want. And I have it over a low heat right now. I'm just starting to heat it up. And I like to put a fair amount of oil in here to keep those eggs from sticking and uh, just to kind of spread it around a little bit get the edges because you know it's going to come up the edge of the pan a bit when you put all everything in here and we're going to start like i said sauteing the onions let's turn that up a little bit and get this going and i'm going to start off with the onions and the mushrooms and then we'll add the prosciutto we want to give the onions and the mushrooms a little bit of a head start just because they take a little bit longer than the prosciutto to do their thing and while this is cooking nice and slow and low for a few minutes I'm gonna go over there and chop up my spinach and have that ready to go. And we'll mix up our eggs and chop up the broccoli. So with our spinach, we just wanna chop this up a little bit, make the pieces a little bit smaller in bite size. I did remove some of the stems that were sticking out really long. So something like that. Okay, so now with the broccoli, you're gonna use as much as you wanna use, right? Just a handful, there's no exact measurements here. And uh, we're just gonna give this a little bit of a chop just so it's a little smaller, it's a little big right now. So we'll just cut this into just smaller pieces and remove any bad pieces that you've come across. So I'll probably put about that much in. It varies, you know, depending on what you like. So that'll be ready to go. And now we just need to put the eggs in a dish. Now you can see here how much the onion and mushroom is cooked down. This has been cooking for about eight to 10 minutes or so. And now I'm gonna add the prosciutto because I want this to cook down just a little bit more too. So we'll just toss that in, mix it in, and I'm on low heat right now. And let that cook for probably another five minutes. 
And I'm gonna add just a pinch more oil to this. The mushrooms have really absorbed a lot of that oil, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more to this. And I'll continue to cook this for another few minutes until the prosciutto can crisp up. Okay, it's time for chef joke number two, but first I want you to tell me if you've heard of this joke before. Let me know down in the comments. All right, here we go. Why does a chicken coop have two doors? Because if it had four doors, it would be a sedan. All right, back to our recipe. Now we're going to crack our eggs into a bowl and mix them up with a fork. Sometimes I add just a little bit of milk to this. Take a fork or a whisk and beat it up. Now another little secret ingredient I like to add on occasion, and I didn't mention it earlier, is some garlic powder. Add it to your scrambled eggs, you will love it. The last thing we need to chop up is some basil, and like I said, I love it, and so I like to use a lot of it. It never overpowers any dish I've ever used it in. I'm lucky to still have some growing in my garden. I'm just gonna toss that in with my spinach, and they can go in together. So you can see here how much the mushrooms and the onions have cooked down, right? I mean, look at how much less there seems to be, right, when we first started. And so now, at first it might have seemed like a lot, and now it's just the right amount. Now the prosciutto is getting a little bit crispy, which is nice. Okay, so I'm smoothing out all the onions so it's kind of evenly dispersed on the bottom. I'm gonna sprinkle in the broccoli and add as much as I want to that which is basically everything I chopped up. <laughs> Imagine how that worked out. Okay, and then I've got my spinach and basil. So I'm just gonna pour them on top and again, do as much as you think is right for you. And I'm gonna give my eggs one little whisk and then I'm gonna pour that right over. I have this on medium low. And we're gonna let this cook. I've got my oven on broil, so it's ready to go. Now, you notice I haven't put too much salt in there, right? I just put a little bit in the onions and mushrooms, the prosciutto has some salt, and then, of course, the cheese, the Parmesan cheese I'm gonna put on top has a little salt. So you really don't need to add any more, but you can if you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and place a lid on this so that the inside will cook a little quicker. So it's been about 10 minutes, let's have a look. And when I shake the pan, you can see there's still some liquid right here, and that's okay. So now I'm gonna grate some Parmesan cheese over the top and we're gonna place this in the oven. So this is going under the broiler just for a minute or two until that cheese melts and the rest of it is nice and golden brown. Here we are at a minute and a half and look at that bubble. Here's our finished frittata. Doesn't that look amazing? Okay, so remember that your handle uh, on this frittata is very hot in this pan. I'm gonna loosen the edges with a spatula and then I'm just gonna slide this right out onto my cutting board. I'm gonna cut this up for you so you can see what it looks like. Hmm, those mushrooms in there and the onions started off with that nice base flavor. So delicious, you're gonna love this. Very savory with the prosciutto. Mm. that's good. If you'd like to try another breakfast recipe of mine, I've got one that you really should check out. It is my French toast sandwich. It's got bacon and avocado in there. I'm gonna leave a link for you right here on the screen. Check it out, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and if you like this video, smash the like button for me. Take care, we'll see you next week for another rockin' recipe.